today, guys. First thing out here, Talkback Worlds video game guy. Today, um, I'm bringing you on this uh, Saturday evening um, my review on the PlayStation slash Xbox slash PC game Fahrenheit. And Fahrenheit is a game which was developed by Quantic Dream, which is the same people that developed uh, Heavy Rain. And it was really this game that, um, after I played it, I really, um, sort of, uh, you know, straight away, I knew that I had to buy a console, a PlayStation 3, to play Heavy Rain, because Fahrenheit was such a, such an incredible game that affected me in a way that I never really thought I would be affected as you would think playing a video game, and yet I was. So, automatically I knew Fahrenheit was a different, a different creature altogether, and if they're developing another game called Heavy Rain, automatically I was I was interested in it. So um, what's uh, what's what's Fahrenheit about? Uh, Fahrenheit is also known as um, Indigo Prophecy, and its primary character is a is a guy called uh, Lucas Kane. Uh, Lucas Kane uh, is a man that gets thrown into a very interesting situation. Um, I'm going to throw in some minor spoilers, but not not spoilers in the sense that uh, I'm actually that I'm actually uh, giving away major plot points. I'm just going to tell you like the basis for the start of the game. So you have Lucas Kane, and one day he has a uh, he has an interesting experience. He's in a bathroom, and he suddenly slips into a murderous trance, and he ends up uh, killing. A man that's in the bathroom, and from there, I guess I can throw in the cliche, which is ordinary man, extraordinary circumstances. He really is trying to get to the bottom of why he was put into this murderous trance, and from there, uh, you uh, encounter many other supernatural uh, forces, many other sinister and very intriguing characters for for a video game. And you also encounter and play as a couple of other people. Um, you play as um, Carla Valenti, which is a New York police detective, and Tyler Miles, which is uh, one of his partners, her partners. Also, there's another uh, minor character called uh, Marcus Kane, which is um, the brother of Lucas, which is um, he does sort of tie into things a little bit. So you know, he's he's also an important character. Now, the gameplay elements are very similar to Heavy Rain, which means that um, they want you to uh, have an authentic controlling experience. So, when you're doing things here and there, you push the button and they, they try and make the, the control stick that you're moving the control, control stick in a particular direction. They really want you to sort of feel like you're actually doing the motion, whether it be opening a cupboard door or having a shell. Yeah, or pardon me, or whatever it is. So yeah, very much similar to Heavy Rain. Not surprising because Heavy Rain followed from Fahrenheit. So you play as Kyla Valenti in some scenes, and you play as Tyler Miles in other scenes. Now, I really have to say that uh, playing from different people's perspectives in video games is an excellent, an excellent storytelling idea. Um, I think it's interesting in life that. Um, all experiences are subjective, so you know. You, what's an example? You know, you um, you slip on a banana peel. One person will um, will he basically be very sad about that and, and cry or whatever. Another person may laugh at it. So, what's my point? My point is, everyone's perspective on things is different, and in stories, it really is an interesting take to explore different um, different different uh different possibilities and different uh, perspectives. Um, I really enjoyed in stories when um, so someone is realizing something or s someone is paying attention to another character and they don't even realize what that character is going through but they've got their own agenda on their plate. And this is sort of happening with Carla Valenti. I mean, as far as she's concerned, this is just another... well, it begins as just another homicide investigation. But then later on, 
when you know you're out and you're trying to catch Lucas Kane. You know, Lucas Kane is this innocent guy, but when you play as Carlo Valenti, that's irrelevant. You, you know, you're trying to catch this guy who um, who committed this murder. Now, um, I have to say that the the slow pacing in this again, um, like I mentioned in previous uh, topics, the slow pacing in this is really uh, is really crucial to um, having emotional investment and. And this thing, this is not like uh, rocket science. This is this is textbook stuff. So, the more emotionally invested you are in something, the more you're going to care about it because you've actually put energy into it. So, if you just jump into a game and you're playing as these characters, you know don't really know that much about them. The emotional investment is very low. Um, uh, for some reason, I always reference Halo. It's just a easy comparison, I mean, there is little given about who, uh, you know, the Spartan, I think his name John, his name might be John, I remember reading this uh, book, The Fall of Reach, but the emotional investment in Master Chief, on a personal level, is pretty low, I mean, sure, after you've played Halo 3, you have spent a lot of time with him, but in terms of you know, actually seeing like his family and stuff. It's, it's, there's, there's not there's not much connection there. With this game, there is a lot to connect to. Uh, first of all, you've got this Lucas Kane guy. He he works a boring office job as a programmer, and maybe we can relate to having boring jobs. You know, it's like okay, I can see myself as this, as this Lucas Kane guy, and then all this crazy stuff starts happening to him. So you're connected to him. Um, you, you find out a little bit about him, um, and the act of doing all these very simple things, as I mentioned before, is a really um, fundamental uh, way to get heavily invested in characters. And this is when, uh, when when stuff actually happens to them, you care about it because you've you've spent so much more time with them. Not not only just doing action scenes, but uh, just uh, going around the house, and uh, it, it's really smartly done. I mean. As I said before, it's an acquired taste. Some people will like will be like, "This is silly," you know. Like, if I want to to brush my teeth, I can just do that in real life. But you see, this is the point. Like, you're doing things with these characters that you do do in real life, and that is the connection. Uh, let's take another random example. Uh, you know, what's the connection between yourself and a police officer? No connection, right? Wrong. I mean, take a look at the wire. The wire had extra time in the in its one hour time slot to really um, have these moments with all characters which showed that before 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 the police detectives the human beings and what's what's the one thing that connects human beings emotion so when when you feel or can communicate that you know what someone is feeling the feeling in their body and it's the same as it's it, they they really get it that wow yeah, this person understands what I'm feeling right now when that's that's a very sort of primal, if you will, connection there, and you know that's that's something that really pushed in 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 the wire. And Homicide: Life on the Street is is another excellent example. I mean, there are so many scenes in Homicide: Life on the Street which are just talking about random stuff, just stuff which happens in life, and it has nothing to do with you know the actual cases. But this really adds. A three dimension, a three dimensional aspect to these characters. That, sure, I mean they're, they're they're homicide detectives, but when they come down to their home at the end of the day, guess what? They're human beings, and and that's uh, something we all are. We all are human beings. And in this game, um, Indigo Prophecy, um, spending time doing these little tasks here and there really allows us to connect with these characters as human beings. And so when we're progressing through the story, we care about them more. And the experience is much more intense and interesting along the way. So, uh, the split screen also um, is an interesting take. There's many um, scenes in here where you'll, 